Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Today I thought I'd start a series of how-to guides how to walk our Cape to Cape track located on the southwest corner of Western Australia. Starting at Cape Naturalist and finishing at Cape Lewin. Now it's a fabulous track and I've done it at eight times in the last ten years plus I've uh, done sections of it as well. Now I've taken people from 25 to 65 and they've all managed it in the same five day pattern that I've been doing since the start. Now I thought I'd start with how to get there and how to get back without being reliant on cars and stuff because you need at least two cars and it means leaving them parked in a remote spot or not that remote and it can be problematic with cars getting broken into and damaged. So my preferred method to getting there and back is the Transwa coach service. Now it's a fabulous service running out of Perth. Okay, so this is it, the Transwa SW1. Now this is um, their timetable. Now I've always started the hike on a Sunday, so I run, so I run it midweek. There's less chance of uh, bumping into a weekend rush of people. Now the uh, the service leaves Perth East Perth Terminal at 9 a.m. I prefer to pick it up at Mandra bus station and use our local train service. It is a little bit cheaper that way as well. And the bus stop is right outside the train station. So that's really quite handy. Now it'll arrive at the Dunsborough Visitor Centre at 1.16 in the afternoon. And from there, $25 taxi ride out to the lighthouse at Cape Naturalist. Or if you want to avoid the taxi fare, you could get to the next stop at 125 at Yellingham Hall and then you can walk in to the trailhead from Yellingham Hall but you miss the first sort of 10 k's of the hike so uh, that is an option if you want to avoid the thing <coughs> now generally I arrive in Augusta lunchtime on a Friday so first you hit the Cape Blue and Lighthouse from there you can either get a taxi back in Often people give you a lift because it's a popular tourist spot. And uh, there again, it's about another $20. Or oh, if you're feeling keen, you can you know, hike it in. But generally by then you've had enough hiking. <coughs> now the uh, the bus leaves Augusta at uh, 3 or 5 in the afternoon. So generally I roll in around lunchtime. I have a shower at the caravan park. I pay for that. I slap up feed at the hotel, which you're ready for that. And you've got plenty of time to make the 3 or 5 bus. Now, should you have a problem, should a storm hit you or someone goes lame, the alternative is to get the bus out the following morning at 8.10. So that's the fallback position, should someone get a bit lame. But I've taken people, young and old, fit, not so fit, and everyone's managed to do it in the five days, provided they're not burdened down. Anyway, as I start, yeah, I think this is a good start getting you to and from the track at a reasonable cost. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the series to come. Bye for now.